Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of our Let's Play in this Winter Wonderland. I'm heading off in some random direction just to explore a bit. I need to gather some resources. This episode, I want to start planning on the house we are going to make. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. See that village right there? I've been looking forever for it. Sleep between the pumpkins. Ah, now I have a habit. I sometimes break this bed and bring it with me again, and I, I just assume that I'll sleep in another bed. But what I don't realize is if I make the mistake of breaking that bed and dying, I think the vacation's over because I only have a few elytra wings left and none of them have mending on them. Well, I guess I can make one with, with unbreaking and fly back out here, but I just sure hope I don't make that mistake. Oh my God. Oh, we need obsidian so bad. Oh my gosh. More obsidian? Oh yes. We already have enough for a portal and I didn't even get diamonds yet. Well, I did, but they're gone. Oh, carrots. How are those staying hydrated? Oh, I guess those sometime... If that water freezes over, wouldn't these pop out of the ground? Oh, well, we need these because I want to make a rabbit farm. These dogs are so crazy. Look at this nice little house. They have, wow, I've never seen that before and it actually looks really good. Got a middle staircase even, this is a big house. Not one soul lives here, kinda creepy. Oh, we got another saddle. I read a comment earlier that made total sense. Remember when my game crashed? What was that? The sound after he got hurt. Oh my god, it's. <laughs> Guys, you know what to do. Get him! Sick him! <laughs> what were you thinking? Huh? Jesus. Oh my god, I love this. Oh, I need that fish. Oh well. Well, anyway, as I was saying, when my game crashed, I, I didn't sit down. That's a random dog. I didn't sit down my other, the tiny dog, and that's why he teleported to me when I was roaming these woods. So that means my other random dogs are sitting down somewhere. I didn't know these dogs spawn here. Oh my God, guys, stop. Stop dying. <laughs> Take it. Well, whoops. Our other dog kind of got mixed in with those red color dogs. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm not going to be keeping track after dogs. If they die, they die. Got my little rabbit farm going there. Get that bread up, and then I'll use that meat to eat, as well as breed these guys. Got target practice. Where's my bow? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Hopefully Bob doesn't get in the way. Terrible. Bullseye, right? <laughs> he even knew. All right, so I want to dig down right next to my igloo here, because, as you know, we lost our stack and a half of iron, so I need to get that back. Because I need to make an anvil. I guess I'm just going to dig until I get some iron. I came back to get that fish because I'm running low on food. I thought I saw a dog up here, but it's actually that baby polar bear. And that's why that mama polar bear came after us. And I feel bad, so I'm going to take this guy home. He's going to be our pet. We got to adopt him. We can't leave him out here to die. Okay, I've been mining some. I only got 25 iron out of that. Which just kind of sucks, but I didn't mine that much. I just dug down to level 12 and branched a few ways. I want to go caving, though, with my dogs, and they're going to protect me, so let's do this. One thing I'm finding troublesome is I'm needing meat out here, and as you know, not too many animals spawn out here that drop meat other than rabbits, and they're so hard to breed and just keep around. I, I'm trying to breed them up in there. Oh my god, I have so many dogs. Is that all of them? Y'all stood up? How many do we got? Four. They might be ready to breed again. But uh, these are the only way or the only things I have to breed my dogs. Oh, oh no, he's not fully grown. Yes, this may be a death sentence for a lot of my dogs, but it will not be my death sentence because anything that attacks me will most likely get killed by these guys. Are these some caves? Did we get lucky? Oh, right off the lake here. Oh, oh it looks promising. You guys ready? <laughs> 
Been in the cave for like 10 minutes. Funny how the one time I bring all my dogs, I haven't even come across one mob yet. That's kind of strange. Getting a lot of iron though, and these guys are getting so annoying I can't mine around them. You know what I'm starting to think? Maybe it's because I have so many dogs down here, it's counting as so many entities that it can't spawn any mobs. You think that would be an issue? Because I've been down here for 20 minutes, not one mob. This is it, boys and girls. Let's do this. You guys need to see some action. These guys are so hurt, though, because they keep falling, and I know tons of them are about to die. Get him! Get him! Okay, I'm leaving. Get him, guys. I'll be over here. Did they do it? Is that it? Where'd the other guy go? Get him! I wonder if I'll get the... Get him! Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. That's lame. <laughs> of course not. Oh, gosh. Get him, guys. Whew. So many effects. Oh, I still got that villager thing. Oh, that sucks. Anyway. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, this is good. I'm going to sacrifice all the food I own to heal my puppies because I know they're all about to die. Oh, my gosh. Look at all their tails. They're so low. Looks like we're going to do some ice fishing. I believe this will work. I could actually go down there and kill some fish with my sword, too, but I'll see how this works out. All right, fishing was a waste of time. I would only get one every two minutes. That was just not worth it. Um, can't really tell who's... Oh, you can't feed them raw fish. Oh, well. Anyway, I want to go ahead and try to create our nether portal here to get some supplies from there. Down here would be a good spot. Luckily, we've got enough. I'm not, I don't think I want to go. Well, actually, you know what? I think I will. I think I will go in there right away. But not right this second, actually. I need to repair my bow. All right, we're back up to the amount of iron we had before. Great. Awesome. I'm just going to create an anvil real quick. Luckily, these skeletons have been dropping enough bows to the point where I can't. Did I keep? Oh, no. Did I keep one? Oh, I did. Good. What should we name it? The Wolf Keeper. Probably should have been two words. That's good enough for me. <laughs> all right. Uh, can dogs come to the nether? I don't care. That would be a hassle to push them all through the portal. That wouldn't even be worth it. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, that's lava. Look at that, guys. We are only 4,000 blocks away in the nether from our original place. I could, I could probably walk home right now. I, didn't, I never even thought of that. I don't know why I thought it would be so much further away. Because remember, we went to that mansion, and then we created an ice road to the portal. We're about the same distance away. That mansion was at least 25,000 blocks away. Holy crap, I never thought of that. <laughs> we could go home with ease. But we're not going to. I found a solution to my hunger. I forgot all about these. <laughs> these are such lifesavers now that I think about it. Favorite feature in Bedrock, by the way, snow stacks. But I was so sad to figure out, I was letting it all stack out here when it was snowing, and it got so high. Like, I couldn't even get into my door at one point, but then I let it stack so high, it freaking resets. I hate that. So when it all gets to the t highest point, it goes back down to level one. And I was so sad because I wish you <laughs> just keep, I know that'd be tough on the game, but I wish it would keep stacking and then you'd actually have to plow some snow. <laughs> um, anyway, I need to go get a lot of wood. I'm going to be honest with you. This slime is getting a little homesick. <laughs> and the only reason that is because I keep thinking about my lab and some ideas for it. And then I'm like, I really want to work on my lab. But I think the only way to fix that is to start building ASAP and get connected to the place here because not having any home is kind of getting to me. And this is my predicament I'm in. You remember, I was thinking I wanted to build a modern house, but I don't know if that fits this theme too well. It would look all right, but then that would also require me to get a lot of quartz. And you know how bummed out I am on getting quartz. Well, not bummed out, tired, I should say, getting quartz because of the lab. So I want to kind of steer away from that. Maybe, what do you guys think of a log cabin? A large log cabin? with some nice detail in it. I think that would be pretty cool. Just need to get a lot of wood, so that's my next priority. OK, 
Okay, I got two stacks of spruce, two stacks of oak, and one stack of birch. I think that'll do. I'm gonna head over to this mega taiga to get some mushrooms and do some mushroom picking. What? I just needed a place to sleep. I didn't know this would happen. I didn't... Hello. What the? Don't close the door on me. And this guy won't leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I needed a place to sleep and I forgot I had the effect still. Sorry, buddy. Can I get a kitty while we're at it? <gasps> oh, we got a kitty cat. Okay, I don't know if I want to fight this raid. What the heck? So I guess I'm still going through with this. Uh, <laughs> this one's with the witches, so I might die at this point. I made sure my spawns... You stay here, kitten. That's probably where they're coming from. Finally found it. They got lost in a cave somehow, and I had to dig and find them. Well, we did it. We got Hero of the Village, got some enchanted armor, and I got a lot of loot. I didn't really record it as much. Um, I, I forgot, what if we had all of our dogs here? A lot of them probably would have died. Uh, but oh my gosh, we got so much stuff. Almost a stack of emeralds. Look at all the totems of undying and saddles, too. What the heck? Well, I got Hero of the Village, so I guess I should go trade some. Ooh, rabbits, too. Look at this trade, by the way. Look how ridiculous this is. Six salmon and an emerald for six cooked salmon. So you're paying a whole emerald, which would literally cost less than a piece of coal to cook it. <laughs> Looky there. You can buy a bell for 36 emeralds when you could literally just take that one. A feature I didn't even know was in the game. You can left click to get rid of the snow, but you can also right click. And that, <laughs> that makes so much sense. It helps. I need to get rid of this or they'll start hopping out soon. What the? Whoa. Whoa, what? Whoa. You guys just see that? I'm sure you did. Why did it all just reappear? Okay, maybe I should just dig it up. <laughs> what the? I left a lot of stuff I got back at that village because I couldn't carry it back. But we got a lot of enchanted stuff, such as... These, are those the same thing? Fire ass? Nope, that is I'm breaking. Oh, so we can combine these two and get a decent sword. Now I can make some delicious soup as well. And I can finally bring back my lucky rabbit's foot. You guys remember this? I had one for a long time, but... Is it rabbit's foot or lucky I know, it's one foot. But it was a rabbit's foot. Lucky rabbit foot. Yeah, <laughs> you remember we had one. We carried it around forever until, if you guys remember, we went down into a temple and my dog Liam teleported Sand Temple and landed on the pressure plate and killed both of us. That was probably the one of the coolest yet saddest moments I've had in this whole series. <laughs> Good kitty. Now's the time. I should find a spot where we should build the log cabin. I've decided that's what I want to build over here is actually a really nice flat... Oh, man. Look how flat this is. So I spent the last hour in my test world trying to design a house that I think I'd, be, I'd like. Wow, all three drops. And I think I've came up with one. But I don't know if you guys are going to like it or not. As you know, I've been having an issue. I, I can't decide between a log cabin or a modern house. So I just decided I'm going to infuse both of them together and see how this goes. I have a basic concept on how it's going to look. And I think I want it to go just right here in this nice flat spot. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so here's the layout. It's going to be a medium-sized house. It's not small, but it's also not huge. And I'm using spruce, and I think I want to strip the logs. All right, now the weird part about it is, is we're going to be using snow. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but from a distance, the white actually looks good. So instead of... Spending so much time in the nether gathering quartz, you can just use this. Huh? See that snow kind of has that modern shape to it. And then we're still going to have a bit of log in it, so I need to go gather a lot more trees.
All right, I'd say I got a lot done for now. <laughs> um, this looks like it's almost like that's the size of the house, but I'm actually going to expand as we continue our lives around here, but I actually really love the look of it. I might go up too. I definitely want to make it, I don't know if I'll go up actually. I think I want to make it really large, but flat. That'll be really cool. But I'm looking forward to this. It looks really good when it snows too, when the snow piles up all around it. Oh, I'm looking forward to this build. We're gonna have to go ahead and end this one here. I actually have school in a couple hours. My my schedule is so backwards right now. I, I think I go to sleep at 11 in the morning and then I wake up around 10 at night and I stay up all night and then I make a video and then I go to school around 11. It's so, I'm so backwards right now, but, but also since school has started, you won't be seeing as many videos as I've been doing in the past like few weeks, probably two to three videos a week. I'm, I can't go this year without missing a video in a week. That's my goal. But today's comic question of the day comes from two different people. Harlan Johnson asks, Will you have automatic farms or will they be manual farms? Well, when you look back at my big green mansion, I have like no automatic farms. And I love doing all manual farms because it keeps you in the grind in Minecraft. When you build these huge automatic farms for almost every farmable thing in Minecraft, you become bored because you become overwhelmed with that material. You no longer need to go out and get it. It's just there, ready to go. And I find that kind of boring. So no, I won't be doing that here because I actually want to kind of live a simplistic lifestyle. Next comment is from Catherine Deasy. That sounds familiar. What's your least favorite biome in Minecraft? Now this used to be ocean, but ocean has redeemed itself because now it's full of loot and interesting things. I think my favorite thing about oceans now is you can actually go caving in an ocean. So when you have ocean gear, it's just so much fun. But I think my least favorite now I'd have to say mountains, I guess, yeah. Mountains it is because they have the least amount of features. The only good thing about mountains is llamas and emeralds. But luckily the mountains are getting a new update, so then I'm gonna have to find a new least favorite biome. I'm gonna work on this a lot in between episodes, so who knows, it might even be done by next episode and then we can start working on something else. I don't even know what to build out here. What? Give me some ideas what we should do out here because we have a lot of potential. I actually really look forward to see what we can do out here. But yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.